Hello everyone, I am Frostfall from the Severity Gaming Network, and today, we're gonna play the Battlefront Beta. So let's go play a multiplayer match. So right now in the beta, there are only two match types available. The drop zone match, which essentially means that there will be escape pods that hit the ground. And the objective of the match is to capture these escape pods and hold them for a, a short amount of time. And holding them scores your team points and also lets you pick up special items in the game that benefit you by allowing you to do different things. Like one of them allows you to call down an orbital strike to bombard an area and kill all of your enemies. Another one creates an auto turret that shoots any of your enemies that pass by. And there are like weapons that you can also get and like grenades and landmines and whatnot. And then there's Walker Assault. Now I've only played this a couple of times. It's basically a gigantic recreation of the Hoth battle from the movies where there are AT-ATs walking towards the rebel base and the rebels have to try and stop them and the Empire has to try and prevent the rebels from stopping the AT-ATs. So let's go play a drop zone match. Alright, we're playing Imperial. Let's see how this goes. Let's get started. So this game feels a lot like a mixture of Battlefield and Battlefront. The graphics are amazing, and I've just been having a great time with it. The combat's a lot of fun, it's really energetic. And the combat's more than just running around shooting people, although that's a major part of it. You also have items that you can use, which you can see in the bottom right of my screen. Right now I've got a sniper rifle, a damage resistant shield, which you can see here. It basically makes you resistant to all types of damage except explosions and melee, and a grenade, which hopefully kills both of them. It does. And you can also buy different types of items. Uh, you get the currency to buy these items, they're called credits. You get them from playing the game and completing matches. And depending on how many points you score in the match, depends on, or grants you different amounts of credits. Alright, let's head for that escape pod. Like I said, escape pods fall from the sky. And you can always see them by that icon right there. Alright, the enemy got it. Let's see if I can snipe anybody. In this map in particular, there's a lot of ridges and pathways. I've noticed that staying on like the high ground is really bad, because everybody can see you, but you can't see them because they're hiding behind rocks. So I try to avoid it as much as possible. Let's throw a grenade in there. Oh, now I still kill somebody. Boom, dead. Alright, we got it. And you can kind of hear the characters talking to each other. There are female stormtroopers in this game, as well as female rebels, and right now you can't do it in the beta, but it was mentioned that in the launch version of the game, I, that guy got sniped. But in the launch version of the game, you can customize the appearance of your character and their gender. So rebels you can, I believe also change the race of, but I'm not entirely sure yet. Right now they're all humans. And for stormtroopers, I don't know how much you'll be able to customize them since stormtroopers essentially are people in white armor. Maybe they'll go the Star Wars Republic Commando route and let you customize what the armor looks like and add things to it. We'll just have to wait and see. You can also melee people, as you saw I tried to do with that guy. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's basically the only attack you can do when you've got the energy shield up. And it does about 10 to 25% damage, give or take. So, it's 
It's useful. It's got its uses in certain situations. The sniper rifle also, if you're not able to headshot people, which is an instant kill, you can hit them. It can take a full health uh, player from 100% to 10%. So, if they're a little damaged, it'll kill them, or act as an amazing opener. Alright, so let's see who I can kill. It's also on a very short cooldown, as you can see. In a couple seconds, it'll be already ready to go. That guy throwing grenades at me? Who does he think he is? Alright, this one's open. You'll be able to see, like... These pods give items, like I said. Let's see what I can. Oh, nope. Or I could just get killed by a raging cow. That's rather rude of him. Or her. Alright, let's claim this escape pod. Alright, I believe that escape pod is this way. Let's see if there's any items we can scavenge. Put on the shield. Oh, you can also throw grenades when you've got the energy shield up. Goodbye. Alright, there's one item left. I feel like Ash Ketchum putting the last item. Orbital Strike, this will be fine. So, Orbital Strike bombards an area. So, let's see if I can just demolish anybody. Doesn't kill your teammates, though, I think, so good on that account. You can die from your own orbital strike, though. And it looks like I got nobody. That was close. Never mind, I'm dead anyway. I got stabbed by a friendly knife, it would seem. Ooh, there's another item. Oh, yeah. Alright, I got a smart rocket. Let's see what I can do with this. Is there a large group of people I could just erase? Doesn't appear to be anywhere near here. Oh wow, their shield kept them safe from that. And they took the pot. Wonderful. Also, these lightning bolt looking things, these power my energy shield. So, your energy shield is your two button, and the energy and the lightning bolts power what's ever in your two. So, if you've got another item, say the ion bullet, it'll add more bullets to your collection. Also, as you can see, I'm down to 41 health. If you stay out of combat or not get hit for long enough, your health will regenerate really quickly. But these guys just won't let me regen my health. Rebel scum are about to claim that escape pod. They must be stopped. They must be stopped? Okay. Let's go stop them then. Somebody's using an orbital strike. Rip. Almost got the double. So close. That's type savage.
Can I snipe this guy? Nope, he's dead. We have oh, he did. Of I really enjoy throwing my grenades into the different pathways of this map just to see if I can blow somebody up. It's so much fun when I end up doing it because you just gotta think, they're not s suspecting it, so they just die. Oh, that's an orbital strike. That was well placed, and I think there were two orbital strikes going off right then. That's hilarious. Alright, we gotta get the spot. As you can see, the timer is running out, but the game won't end until all of the escape pods that are on the ground are claimed. So it does give you a bit of an overtime to tie up the match or change the score by one point. That explosion was a thermal impulse grenade. Those are particularly nasty because they're one shots. Just like that grenade I just got killed by. Alright, so this match is either going to be 2-4 to four or 3-3. Three to three. Let's try to make it the 3-3. Three to three. I don't think we'll have a chance to unless somebody claims it. Nope. Now I just got killed. Alright, so. 14 to 13. Not terrible, per se. Most kills, 26. Friendly knife, you just stabbing people. But yeah, as you can see. I'm racking up scores, and this will uh, transition into the amount of credits I get. So I get 353 credits. And credits can also be used to buy different types of guns. There's a pistol, an assault cannon, which I was using, and two standard blasters. So yeah, that's my look at the Battlefront beta. I've really been enjoying it, and I can't wait for this game to be released. And if you like this video, please remember to rate it thumbs up and subscribe as it really does help me out. See you later.